Hopefully we can find some good stuff today. I'm excited. <laughs> I actually really like being on the second floor. It's like not too high up, not too low. Can people watch? You know, little thing. finished getting ready and I did a little bit of makeup. This is the final outfit. This top is thrifted actually from the last time I went to the bins. These pants are addicted, um, super comfy, and then just some normal plain old Uggs that are really, really old, probably from the eighth grade. Also like I used to really want the Ugg super ultra mini when those were really popular. But then I realized when I wear pants over these, like you can't really tell. Like these could be the ultra mini platforms, but they're not. This bag is actually from the bins too, um, ironically. This little pin that I have on it is also from the bins. The necklace is actually from Etsy. It's definitely not the original Chrome Hearts one, but it's supposed to look kind of similar. Right now, I think I'm just gonna make breakfast, coffee, of course, and then we will be off to the bins. Bins, 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 bins. Okay, so if you guys have never been to the bins before, just a little background. All of these clothes that they sell here are sold by the pound, which is why it's so awesome because it's so cheap. Usually it'll be about $250 to $275 a pound for clothes, um, and then a little bit more for shoes and like $1.50 a pound for books and hard goods, things like that. But basically nothing's organized because these are all of the clothes that are kind of on their last stop before being salvaged or recycled elsewhere. And they're all just like left over from other Goodwills. So a lot of the times it'll still have the original Goodwill tag on it, but that has nothing to do with the actual price you're paying because as, as I said, you pay by the pound. This is really popular for resellers to go here because it's so cheap and you get the most bang for your buck. It does take a lot of time. I usually spend about two to three hours at least here looking for stuff, but I promise if you put the time in, it's definitely worth it. And I always come out with some really sick stuff. So if you haven't been before, definitely recommend that you check it out. It's a lot of fun. Hi guys, as you can probably already tell, it's several weeks later after I went to the bins, but I'm ready to get into the haul, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the stuff that didn't fit me, unfortunately, because obviously I won't be trying it on, but I do plan on selling it either on my Depop or to like Crossroads, Second Street, that type of thing. As I mentioned in the vlog portion of the video, I found so many jeans during this bins run for some reason. The first pair, I was so sad that they didn't fit me because they're so freaking cute. It's these vintage, super stretchy, jeans they're just kind of like a straight cut you could tell they're vintage because of the tag it says angels and just like the stitching and everything is very intricate look at the back like the pockets are so cute they have little rhinestones and i loved love love loved how it went in like this like kind of like the wedgie cut or like that style they're super cute unfortunately they're way too big so gonna have to sell these but I wish they fit. Next up for the jeans that didn't fit me are these Levi's. They're just basic, casual Levi's. I've been trying to find really like baggy, simple vintage Levi's because I have one pair that, and they're super light wash, but I've been wanting kind of like a darker wash. So I thought these would be perfect, but they're just a little bit too big. They are men's, but yeah, they're just like a straight cut and they're pretty really good condition for being vintage. So I'm probably just gonna sell these too. And then the last pair of jeans that I got that unfortunately didn't fit me are these jeans by Jennifer Lopez. I did not know Jennifer Lopez made jeans. Like, did you? Like, that just like, I've never heard about her like having a clothing line. I don't know if I'm just like living under a rock or if she just like had her moment and just like never talked about it. I was intrigued by these because they are like a really cute boot cut and I really liked the wash and the pockets are pretty cool. They're like folded over material. As you can see, the J-Lo tag. They're so cool though. J-Lo jeans, I don't know. Okay, so now for the jeans that do fit me. This was actually the very first thing I saw when I walked in. They're also vintage Levi's, but they have a different shaped tag than it normally does, like kind of smaller. 
but these are so so cute because they're boot cut at the bottom they just fit so well on the waist and they are vintage so there's a little tiny hole like near the pocket in the back but i just think the fit is so so cute it gives you that kind of like 2000s vibe and the wash is also really nice. I do believe these are women's, so the material's a little bit thinner and more comfortable than like the men's vintage Levi's. So this was a really, really good find. Okay, and lastly for the jeans are these vintage Ralph Lauren jeans. You could see the tag right here. It says R Lauren on the back. These feel like such good quality and I could see that they were huge when I picked them up. Like these I knew probably wouldn't fit me, but I got them anyways, because I was like, oh, I can resell them. But I actually have seen that lately a lot of people are like rolling down the waistband on their jeans that are really big and it kind of helps it to fit better. So I tried it and I absolutely fell in love. They're just a really good basic um, and they look really cute when you know you have like a G-string or something sticking out or I've actually been wearing them with boxers recently and I think it looks really super cute underneath. So yeah, just a really good basic loose pair of jeans. Okay, and now for the tops. This first shirt is more of like a joke. Um, I just thought it was funny that I found this, but it's a 76 gas station vintage tee. Yeah, this is just like for going to bed or I mean, honestly, like for like pics or something, it'd be funny, but yeah, it's just like a good little basic tee. I always like thrifting my bedtime shirts because I feel like you're only wearing them to bed no one's gonna really see it. But yeah, I've never seen vintage gas station merch, so. I definitely was like, I need this. Next for tops is just this super simple, soft and stretchy tank top. I thought it'd be really cute with like a little sports bra or like a casual bralette showing. I think it looks really good with the loose jeans actually for just like a very casual, like model off duty vibe, you know? It's just so soft and the material is ribbed and super stretchy and it's really easy to throw on with anything. Um, so yeah basic next is this super super cool tank top it's from the brand street saint i think i've seen their storefront in la actually um but it's this black ribbed tank and it has a super cool cross and skull design and then it says los angeles and there's rhinestones all over the neckline and all over the design i just thought this was super cool and very trendy um, it's definitely not like my normal style, but I was thinking of maybe cropping it because it's really long. But yeah, I could totally see this being like such a good resale piece if in the future I wanted to give it up. Next for tops, this kind of caught me off guard when I saw it because at first I thought it was Von Dutch. It says Von Dunes. I was like, what y'all know about Von Dunes? And it says it's from Glamis, California. Like I have no idea where that is and I live in California. I mean, California's pretty big, but still. Like, I'm guessing it's like merch from a sand dune if I'm just like freewalling it. Like, I really don't know, but I just thought it was kind of funny because it looks like the Von Dutch logo and I did really like the cut actually, like the um, little baby sleeves. So I probably will wear this and style this with like a big jacket, but I think the red's really pretty too, but yeah. The Von Dunes. And then lastly for tops is the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous top I think I have ever thrifted. I definitely have to wear some type of like pasties or some type of like bra top under this because it is like a see-through knit, but here she is. It's this vintage BB crochet halter and it has the coolest details to it. It has these two strings like on the neckline that just make it look so intricate and gorgeous. And then going down the center is this um, little beaded crochet design. It's like flowers and it has these sparkly little bead fringe strings coming out of it and the cut at the bottom goes into a v like there's just so much detail to this top i could not believe that i actually found this at the bins and that it wasn't destroyed like it's literally in perfect condition it's just so beautiful like i don't think i'll ever get over this top and i could definitely see myself wearing this on like a vacation or to a nice dinner when it's more summertime and it's hot out but oh my gosh, I cannot wait to style this and wear this out. It is just so beautiful. And then definitely another one of my favorite things I got during this bins haul is this. <laughs> it's a I Heart Hot Moms jacket. I just thought this was so funny. I immediately put this in my cart when I saw it and I posted it on my story and I was like, oh, best thrift find ever. And someone swiped up and they said it was Danny Duncan merch. I think he's like a comedy YouTuber. 
but um they retail for like i think like 55 bucks and i got it for probably like a dollar fifty two dollars so I'll take it. I already actually took Instagram pictures in this. <laughs> so you can go check out my Instagram if you wanna see the rest of the pictures. It's just so funny. And every time I wear this, I know people are probably getting a good laugh out of it. And I really like the fit though, actually, like aside from the I Heart Hot Moms part, the fit is really nice. So great find. Um, and then lastly for the stuff I'm not gonna try on, I found this Victoria's Secret lingerie set and this is the top. It is so, so beautiful. Um, and it just has like a silk back and baby pink lace detailing on the front. I found the top at first and I was like, wow, this is so cute. Like I wish I saw the bottoms. And literally an hour later, I found the bottoms like in a completely different bin across from the way. I could not believe my eyes. So I have the full set now and these are the bottoms. It has the same like silk on the back and the lace on the front, but they're in perfect condition and literally so gorgeous. Like the odds of finding a set that's in perfect condition condition at the bins is so rare. I couldn't even believe it. And for it to be like vintage Victoria's Secret, chef's kiss. And then lastly is just this, this blue bikini top. I just thought it was a really, really pretty color. It has like an interesting glittery swirly pattern on it i don't know it doesn't feel like bikini material it's more just like normal fabric so i thought this would be really cool for like a festival in the summer or just with like jeans in the summer if i'm going to the beach um but yeah i just thought the color was really pretty so i had to grab this so that would conclude today's bins thrifting vlog and haul i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it i go to the bins all the time i'm actually going tomorrow and just thrifting in general is one of my absolute favorite things to do it brings me so much happiness when i find a good piece um and my ring light just died i forgot the cord to my ring light at my other apartment i'm like at my home home right now so i'm trying to use the rechargeable batteries but i did not charge them for long enough i guess so um yeah i'm already done with the video anyways but basically what i was saying is if you guys want to see more bins hauls and thrift vlogs of that sort try ons um i would love to do them so please comment down below if that's something you'd like to see and i'm always open to taking video recommendations so comment those as well and i'll see you guys in the next one